Chutney, green pepper and tomato takari. What's a takari, you might ask? Takari is a method of cooking vegetables together in their own juices. We've got here six tomatoes chopped into half-inch cubes, two green peppers diced finely, and we've got six zucchinis that have been cut up in half rounds. Let me show you how that's done. When you take your zucchinis, this little end here, you just have to cut off that little bit. And on the big end, you have to cut off that much. And to cut them in half rounds, simply cut them down the center like so, and chop them into rings. And automatically, you'll get nice, even-shaped half rounds. So that's our vegetable ingredients. Now over here, we have the rest of the ingredients. We have one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of ground coriander seeds, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of ghee, one and a half teaspoons of freshly minced green hot chilies, one tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of asphatida, and a tablespoon of parsley. Asphatida is the aromatic resin from the root of the asphatida plant. Uh, I use it a lot in my cooking. In fact, it's my, my favorite spice. You can purchase it in little containers like this from uh, any sort of Asian goods store, and this sort of container would last you for a very long time. Firstly, heat up a heavy pan, such as a, a wok, and put in your ghee or oil. As I mentioned before, this is a standard method of frying your spices. When the ghee starts to smoke a little, add the cumin seeds. Cumin seeds, by the way, are a very aromatic spice. I use them a lot in my cooking and they're awfully good for the digestion as well as providing a very nutty, savoury flavour to your vegetable dishes. Now when they start to crackle like this, add your freshly minced green chilies. Whenever you touch chilies like this with your hands, always remember to wash them off afterwards because the hot oils in the chilies will uh, affect your skin. Fry up the chilies with the cumin seeds. Now we're going to add the asphatida and the turmeric. In goes the asphatida and some turmeric and the green peppers. Now we want to saute the green peppers for oh, up to five minutes. When you fry your spices in ghee, all the flavors that are locked in to those spices come out. And the whole room uh, fills up with a fragrance of spice. I like to partially cook my green peppers first in order to Soften them a little. So next, we add our zucchinis and our coriander powder. Toss them all in. Now mix in very carefully all the zucchinis so that they're well coated with spice. Now finally, add our tomatoes. The tomatoes here will add the liquid which is necessary to continue cooking our zucchinis. The zucchinis themselves will give off a little moisture also. And place a lid on your wok and continue cooking, stirring every now and then till the zucchinis are soft. It's been about five minutes. Yes, 
you notice now all the juices have mixed together. The tomatoes have softened up. The green peppers are soft. So zucchinis are nice and soft. Let's add our final ingredients here. We've got our brown sugar and our salt. I like to add a little brown sugar. It brings out the flavour of the tomatoes. A little extra sweetness there. Fold that all in. Some parsley. Freshly chopped. As a garnish. And there it is, zucchini, green pepper and tomato tarkari, a light summer vegetable.